Nee, we hebben nee. je sep staan. En af. <laughs> Zet de microfoon, kom maar af. <laughs> What's going on? I bet you wanna stay into the night. I bet you wanna say bye 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 bye. Stay stay. I hate to see you go. Come on now. What's it gonna show? Bye 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 bye. I wouldn't mind, but now it feels so bad, feels so bad. It's alright at the time. Do you just want to introduce yourselves to the audience and let them know who you are and what you do? Sure, left. I'm Kieran. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> I'm the bass player. <laughs> yeah, right now I I'm, am. I'm Kev. <laughs> yeah, and I am Kieran. I, I'm Kieran. I play guitar and I sing. Um, and yeah. I play drums. And I'm, I'm still Kev. And the name of the band is? The name of the band is Tax Party. Yeah, it scares the absolute living daylights out of me. Why did you choose that name? Because he works for the um, tax office. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> horrible <laughs> bastard. Oh. So we're on to all you. He's the worst in the room right now. It doesn't, we were kind of looking for a name. We, we were another project in the past and we kind of you know, span away as a free piece and we needed a name and it was something that if you type it into Google, it'll just bring us up. Basically, oh, it's nice not one. really two two words that'll kind of go together. Yeah. So it's like a Google whack. In yeah, life. people aren't Googling tax party, are they? <laughs> it's Until an, now. Until now. <laughs> yeah, it can't be another word as well for, you know, when you get a rebate and you, you just blow it all on a massive party and, you know. <laughs> so that, that's where that comes from as well. Just shows where the thinking and the mindset is. Yeah. Guys, love it. Yeah. Big party. So for you as a band, how long have you been together? I know this is a bit of the new project from the spin-off yeah, one, so but... as a free piece for about seven months. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Something we played like that, in yeah. another project. Because we started that three years ago when it was four of us and that, but we've only been doing this, what, seven months? Yeah, we kind yeah. of had a bit of a nightmare with lead guitarists all the yeah. way, and we've had quite a few of them, and the, there's just something about lead guitarists that are not bad. Ah, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Uh, but I'm only joking, like... Can't so really. Yeah. yeah, it's, um... Yeah, I just don't think anyone wants to play with us as well, like. yeah, So we decided to just go with a free piece. Sometimes it is hard to, to find like like-minded people who yeah. all have the same sort of mindset that want the same goal and that no one wants to steal the shine or go oh no actually i'm having this i'm having that say yeah. Yeah, sometimes it does take a wee while to find the right lineup look at the sugar babes yeah. <laughs> look how many alternates they have you know what though it's like you said then we are us three are very similar in the way we play music yeah. the way we write music as mates as well mm -hmm. um, same humor as well yeah, we all live quite close together as well so it was always easy for us three to kind of commit and, and yeah, do and the rehearsals and, and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah so we like where other people wouldn't necessarily come to practice we'd always be miles ahead of everyone else yeah. and in the end it was just a case of saying like come on us three will do it so yeah and uh, like you you can tell that you really enjoy it like you just look like you're just sort of having a ball like when you're mm -hmm. playing here so yeah. it's obviously worked out in your favour, having the three years? Yeah, I mean, we are still open. We we do think that there is room in the band for another member, maybe, along the line somewhere. Mm. But like you say, it's hard to find that other person that will connect. And That's going to connect, but connect I'm yeah. I'm sure that there is someone out there. We just haven't come across the right person. You might find yet. them after <laughs> this. Yeah. You never know. Well, if, um, if anyone's interested, yeah. no. But um, it, no, we're hitting a hitting a heavy this heavy this year. Like yeah. that's the plan. What's um, what's coming up? What's in the pipeline for you? Well, we want to. We're going to try to get a couple more gigs yeah, and um, we want to just studio as well. Build our, um, we want to get people to know us. Really, mm -hmm. we want to get out there and maybe do like quite a few support slots and yeah. you know win over other people's audience. I mean, it's all great going out and doing your own headline gig and you know, mm -hmm. your mates coming up. You know, they know yeah. we are. We, we exactly, want to attract yeah. new audience. Hence why we're here today. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, like, when it comes to the songwriting, who does what? Um, it's mainly Kieran. Yeah. yeah, Kieran comes in with the ideas, and, um, and then I, we kind of strip it apart once it's it's he brings mm -hmm. it in, and then we put it back together. Yeah, it's it's not the same song as it, that I walked in with, so it it always changes. And yeah, we'll we'll Kieran will come in with an idea, and we'll like say strip it apart, and we'll put mm -hmm. it back together, and we all have our input on the structure, and we'll change lyrics, and we'll do melodies and that. But the initial ideas generally come from the guitar. 
So basically, Kieran's ideas aren't good enough for you. You just have to strip them apart and dissect them and then yeah. put them it's back just together. Too much, yeah. exactly it's too yeah. kind of messy. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> leave these boys to it. You're too good. They don't, they don't value you. <laughs> they don't. They don't. <laughs> What's your favourite song that you've like, written together and that you've perform with what do you enjoy most singing not my girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was an old song um, i like 5am i think that's yeah, our best I one at the minute yeah as well it's quite we played it then it's quite melodic and it's a bit more laid back to the other stuff we do yeah it's um yeah, it's got to talk about what, what what's it about go ahead if you want yeah so it's um it's it, there's an interesting story with it like it's, i love stories like this go on I, well, it is an interesting it's a bit foul but it's um <laughs> even better go on <laughs> the song it's, it's called 5am and it's just about being up at 5 a.m. in the morning um, and having those crazy nights and, yeah, just wanting to get away from it all, but you can't, so it's, um, yeah, it, so you'll you hear that in the lyrics. It's not being off yet, basically. Nice yeah. one. Yeah. Um, pretty like, sure we can no. all relate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we talk about the, the birds singing. While the sun's coming up and you know you're coming I down. actually I actually thought you meant like the girls singing there. When you were like the birds singing. I was like, oh the yeah, girls singing, lovely. Yeah. Little choir. When they want to start singing at five o'clock, you get all the shit. Yeah, shut the fuck Punch up. The red in. <laughs> Rapidly. I won't feel great. I Is. Me and John shared the bed in London. Not, not long <laughs> no. ago. Very um, cute. Yeah, no, we did. Yeah. So long, yeah, we, we had to. We were in um, a West 70 Airbnb ever. Yeah, seventy pound Airbnb. Um, yeah. Stop a brick lane. I think he's. He might as well have slept on cobble of <laughs> the way your bed was like. Yeah. It was um yeah just yeah bad. <laughs> what's what's been like the most amazing gig that you have done like the biggest crowd you have played to or even just a gig that you have went do you know what that was Belter I really enjoyed that the one we done with Mexican Dogs in uh, December last year it was good wasn't it yeah that went by I think the that was our first tax party gig yeah, yeah I think we don't we don't was want that in district was it yeah yeah like well we yeah. done one in, um, recently in Blackpool and that was that was oh, a yeah, free was gig boss. and it was the vibe that was it in was there pride. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's just on their, their, their best like yeah. Yeah. versions of themselves, I think. It was that brilliant, yeah, free gig. Um, we just turned up in our car, didn't know what to expect, and it was just, yeah, brilliant. So, oh, I was dead there when I... You were. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we done it. <laughs> and no voice on the way back. <laughs> so if you were to describe like, to our audience at home, what is your sound as a band? It's, um, I don't know, we, we love bands like The Strokes, but I'd say it's very indie with a bit of punk in it um, mm -hmm. but it, yeah it, it, but it's just going to get better and better and heavier and heavier it's like early Supergrass it's the Sex Pistols yeah very good would, but, that, you know, would they be like your inspirations like your musical inspirations they, they wouldn't be all of our musical inspirations we all listen to probably completely different music go on who do you listen to I listen to Supergrass and the Sex Pistols <laughs> <laughs> so exactly what you just yeah. said before then I listen to the Sex Pistols and Supergrass <laughs> <laughs> these are going to do me dirty here yeah. the no, I, I love like the bands like the Beatles and the yeah. Strokes as well like and just tons of bands there's a band called the Growlers I really love they're not going anymore but just yeah tons of bands you I can't even battle, yeah I mean it's the heaviest stuff Mastodon Gajira okay. bands like that yeah. Robin and John are into even ah, they metal stuff. <laughs> yeah they like that that's Happy like days. Street, big yeah. time but if you had to like collectively as a group choose five artists that you were going to go into a writing session with in a studio dead or alive are you trying to cause a fight who mm. you picking <laughs> Kevin and Stokes Joe. definitely <laughs> well you are all included you are included um, well I mean Kieran would probably be pretty similar to be honest I yeah. mean I'd, I'd, along the board with the three of us they're probably the band that we connected with most would be the Strokes but yeah. we, you know we're probably a guitarist short to sound like the Strokes so. but if we had another guitarist we probably would write songs more along those lines wouldn't we? yeah yeah very yeah, attainable yeah. the Beatles would be for yeah, me massive yeah. Beatles fans yeah, apart from John. 
hate them. No, I don't. I, I don't hate them. <laughs> Despises them. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Would that be your <laughs> musical unpopular opinion? Because this is something we talk about. Like unpopular opinions, a lot of people have. Yeah, that would be, especially in Liverpool, probably an unpopular yeah. opinion. Well, What's your reasoning behind it? Go on. I just don't like the songs. First? Yeah. Just don't, never listen to them. Never got into them. No judgment. It's tones off. You like that first half, like. You know. We appreciate the final side of the songwriting. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to, like, support someone on tour, like, who would be the dream artist or band? The Strokes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, yeah Julian <laughs> Casablanca's. <laughs> <laughs> we sound good, but we'll sound better, I promise. <laughs> Take us on. Oh, no, loads of bands, I don't know. The, the Strokes would be our, our main one. We, yeah. When we went to London, we when we came back to the... The seventy pound apartments. We just had the strokes on, and yeah, we all love singing it and relating it, relating to it. And, yeah. but if you so had then, to pick one, you're never allowed to listen to the Beatles again, or you're never allowed to listen to the Strokes again. Which one are you picking? The Beatles. You'd never listen to them again, or you would? You'd no, never listen I'd, to the Beatles. I'd listen to the Beatles anyway. Yeah, the Beatles for me. I love the Strokes. Yeah, but the Beatles cover so there's so much like many styles and. Yeah. Over the years, and there's so much you can put from the back. Yeah! Yeah! Which one now? I did, see, I, did, I wasn't like, I didn't know how much of the hype like the Beatles had until I moved here. Yeah. And then like once I started listening to their music, I'm a bit the same as you, like I'm yeah. not a massive, massive Beatles fan, but I can really appreciate like the way they do their harmonies and stuff is yeah. so different than any other band. And it's the way they've worked out how that sound would fit together. It's just, it's like thinking outside the box and I, I really appreciate that. Like their musicianship is pretty sick. 100%, yeah. And, uh, like people have come on here and said that they don't rate Queen as a band for it. I'm looking for. Mm. Oh, he's gone already. But they said they don't rate Queen as a band, and I'm like, I get that, but take the musicianship of it. Like you can appreciate the music and like what's been yeah. done. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a massive Queen fan, but I do like Queen. I like the singles, and Smart. I like Freddie Mercury as yeah. you know frontman. But like yeah, I'm musically, not the like the, the drummer isn't to me. He's not a drummer. I, I, I listen to drums when I listen to music. And What's your take on Oasis? I got tickets. Did you? My daughter You're probably me a ticket, one yeah. of the only people in the bloody country that yeah. did. Yeah, my daughter bought me a ticket, so. That's right. Yeah. Nice I don't one. I don't mind them. Like, I don't hate them all. I don't love them. Yeah, what about like you? Them. How are you feeling about it? I, I couldn't care less. When I, was, <laughs> when I was younger, I was not care less. The first two albums, that was it. Like, I was yeah. massive away. It's probably where. I kind of started my musical journey. If you a like. lot of but people say that, yeah. 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 Well, when you're like a teenager, it's kind of like, I'm a lot older than these two. So no I'm, way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so kind of like, I was like around that, that era for me. and Like know, the 90s, that kind of yeah. rock and roll. Okay. Yeah, I think as well, like even though the Scouts and the, the Manx are, have a bit of a butthead because of the football, so many Scousers really appreciate Oasis. Yeah. Really, and I think it is because it's like, oh, lads from the north doing really well. Good one. Yeah, I mean that's it. You know? When it comes to scouts and uh, scouts and monks, it's only really the football. It like, is. The, yeah. I mean, I've the, never had a problem with them. No, no. We, when we play in Manchester and stuff like that, some of the nicest people we meet. Where is your favourite place to play? In Manchester. Anywhere. Anywhere. Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's Blackpool. <laughs> no, no. Blackpool. No, I'm, I don't know. You know what, London. If we can, we last the last place we played in London went to. Too great, like yeah, um, the venue, a, but it's a good vibe in London. Yeah, we love it. There's a 24/7 bagel shop as well, Brooklyn, which yeah. I, I sold. Think, <laughs> I think we went there like three, four in the morning. It was great. Oh, I went seven in the morning when you were still sleeping. Yeah. Um, fantastic. Salt and beef bagel. So, yeah. how, how do you get booked on all these gigs then? Like to go to like London and Blackpool and go around? Is it you just go out and say, listen, can we? 
do your venue and we put a show on here. We've had looking after us recently. Nice. So we've had, um, like, it's always helpful. Yeah, a bit of promoter, like sending gigs our way and stuff oh, like hi. that. So that, that's been helpful. Do you just do cover gigs like in the city or anything? No. Not, no, not, no. As a, not as a, not as a party, like. no. Mm. We do it in pubs occasionally and mm. for yeah. a bit of extra well, cash. A bit of extra money, you know, Always you know. helps, like, you know. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't go out as, as a, John won't learn covers. No, lazy. Won't, so too lazy. Your shit bag. <laughs> we'll go out and play songs. An old, an, <laughs> an old cover's better than our own stuff. Like. <laughs> See, um, I was saying this before, like, I get, I'm so much more comfortable singing a cover than I am singing my original. Yeah. I think when you sing your original, you're like, out in your own secrets or like showing your nudes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, it's yeah, it's no, very like right. personal, it's, um, isn't it? But a lot when people are listening to it, it's that's not the same way you are. You know, they're not reacting the same way you are. No, because it's they're not like, their oh, thoughts or feelings. They're just going, yeah. oh, a song. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's um no, we're we're yeah, we're very I, well, I am I'm very critical about our music and I yeah. just thought you wrote nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm critical. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Ju judge myself too much with the music. But I think everyone does, when you're an artist especially, yeah. perfectionist, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Before we I let you go, have you got any like things you just want to promote or plug, any gigs or releases that you're like, get on this, guys? No, <laughs> no we have. We've got, we've got promote your there. pages as well. Yeah, so yes. at Tax Party HQ on Instagram. Yeah. Um, That's the same across the board. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook as well, yeah, just TikTok. type Tax Party. Um, we're more, more active on Instagram. Um, have we got a TikTok? Yeah. We have that. will be more active now. This is... Um, yeah, this is right. We've got um, a couple of songs on Spotify that are worth checking Hopefully. out. And we have got some songs in the pipeline to be released as well, so... Finished and released. There will be some gig announcements coming up. So happy yeah. days. Well, you will gig. have to let us know and send us some tickets. Yes, yeah. and we'll we will. Check it out for yeah. sure. QR codes. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, thank you so much for coming in, playing for us, and chatting to me as well. It's been a pleasure. Well, thank you no, very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> uh,